What do you know? Welcome to Tease Multiverse. I'm your host, Tyrus, and man, that G.I. Joe train just keeps going because just literally through the door, fresh from the GameStop delivery, I have the G.I. Joe classified Dusty. Now, Dusty, Dusty is cool, man. I always love this character here. I've always gravitated towards uh, this character, you know, and, and I, I like how, like, the showrunners they really like Dusty, you, I could tell, because he got a lot of screen time throughout that whole G.I. Joe animated series. You know, they even gave him a big two-part episode, you know, where he was looked upon as a traitor to G.I. Joe. So if you if you have not checked that one out, you definitely want to check that one out. because It was so good, you know, and throughout, they really just gave Dusty a lot of screen time, and I, and I can appreciate that. Now that we got Dusty... I got a feeling we got to be getting Footloose. His, his old buddy Footloose, you know, they be out in the desert on those recon missions. I know we got to be getting Footloose soon, so that's going to be awesome. But to get characters like this <laughs> in this day and age, it's just so cool, man. Extremely excited when they announced that Dusty was coming. I was like, you got to be kidding me. You just got to be kidding me. So really happy, folks. This thing literally just came through the door, you know, from GameStop. I'm really excited. Really happy to have Dusty. And as you can see, we have Dusty through the uh, Vintage G.I. Joe Classified display window packaging. You have G.I. Joe Classified, Dusty. You have this beautiful artwork of Dusty here. You have Dusty through the display window with all his accessories. Here we have yet another image of Dusty here with this awesome artwork. This artwork is just so cool, folks. I mean... It, it, I'm hard pressed to not throw these packages away because the artwork is just so cool. And here on the side, we have uh, the number that this figure is. It's number 49 in the G.I. Joe Classified line. And on the back here, we have the promo art of the Joes as well as Cobra. And now that we've taken a look at the packaging and everything, let's take a closer look at my main man, Dusty. All right, let's get to it. All right, I got Dusty out of the packaging. And, man, of course, this guy just looks fantastic. <laughs> he looks so cool. Oh, boy, this guy looks cool. He has this, like, very uh, serious, stern look to him. You know, he looks very serious. Uh, he has, like, that tunnel vision to him type of a look. You know, that's cool. I like it. He has the little camouflage makeup on the face here. Uh, nice sculpted detail with the hair. I love the tint. It's like a dark blonde um, color palette that they're utilizing for the hair. That looks good. A nice shading around the eyes. Love how they handled the eyebrows. That looks good. That sets up the rest of the face here with his stern, strict look. This guy has tunnel vision, man. He, he's ready. He's ready for his mission. I tell you that. Dusty meant business. You know, when it was time, you know, to, to get down, man, Dusty, he would do what he needed to do, man. And he was cool. He was cool in the comics as well as in the Sumbo animated series. Uh, here we have uh, the American flag. We have Tador, if I'm saying that correctly. And we have G.I. Joe here, the little uh, name tag badges on his uh, shirt here. We have the classic camouflage outfit that he'd wear out on his desert missions and everything. They captured that. He has a little spider vest as well. Did a good job with that. Of course, they have the peg here for his backpack. Uh, he has nice little, has a nice little belt here around. Boots to handle really well. I'm glad that they, they're doing away with that little metal plated look that they had with the Joes. I just, I did not like that. So I'm glad that they didn't do that. Gave him nice classic uh, boot, military boots, honestly. Here we have his knife sheath that we'll, we'll be uh, testing out shortly. Uh, and we have his, you know, nice little pouches here, uh, and his little camouflage pants, his cargo pants, or if you want to call them here. Uh, so they absolutely captured the look of Dusty here with this complete outfit. Now, of course, as I mentioned in previous uh, videos, articulation is going to be pretty much the same with all of these Joes. You know, you have nice arm extension here with the GI Joe. He has butterfly joints as well. He has that bicep swivel, which is cool. Both he has pinless double jointed elbows as well as pinless knees articulation. <laughs> you can see he can go all the way back like this here. Nice articulation here in the foot area. He has that boot swivel as well. He has that thigh cut here. 
which is awesome. And he has that drop down as well. So super articulation with these figures here. Again, um, here he has nice articulation here in the wrist area as well. Head can go down, can go up very well, can go all the way around. So no issues with articulation with this figure here. Super articulation as as always, um, pretty much for the with these GI Joe classifieds, you're not gonna have any issues articulating these uh figures here. Uh definitely for the most part. I'm very happy with what they've done with uh, Dusty here. And uh let's take a look at his accessories, man, because uh that's that's always like the cherry on top for these GI Joe classifieds is the accessory. So he comes with a few things, which is always cool. First up, Dusty comes with this backpack, which looks awesome. It's uh, kind of like a dark brownish uh, type of backpack. Nice detail throughout that they've placed with them. You see various pouches and compartments. You see the canteen here. You see the little area that you will peg into its back. So let's test that out right now. So we have this here. You're going to peg that into its back. So we got this backpack here. So we're gearing them up. We're gearing them up for the missions, man. He's getting ready. All right, Dusty. So we got his backpack. Check. Here we have Dusty's vintage helmet here. Now, you know we can't have Dusty without his vintage helmet. This is his signature look here. So we're going to place this on Dusty's head. Oh, yeah. Yeah, man. <laughs> I love it. I love it, man. I'm telling you, to, be, to grow up in the 80s and to watch these characters and love them the way I do and to get these things it's just so cool so we have dusty head it seems a little bit big i will say you know this this head uh helmet i want to call it a headdress but um seems a bit big but uh it'll work i'll work with it <laughs> I work. i'm just happy to have dusty you know uh this is just so cool i mean and, and to have all of the accessories that comes with these gi classifiers is just so it's just so awesome man it's just an added bonus on top of having these figures here. So got his headdress. And then also we have, we actually have two sets of goggles. Now this set here, the little smaller set, um, and uh, before I get into that, the, the, the detail on the goggles look fantastic. They did an excellent job with the goggles, nice color detail. Uh, here's a silver here for the lenses. Rest of the goggles is kind of like a beige, a dark brown. But uh, this one will go, uh, this one, this one here will slide onto his head when he's not wearing his helmet. So we can test that out right here. So we're going to, and hopefully this goes smooth. You know how sometimes it goes with me on these videos, man. I don't know. All right. So, all right. All right. So we got this here and it just kind of slides on like that. So he has a set of goggles that will slide onto his face like this without the headdress. So that looks pretty cool. And then he has a set of goggles that he'll utilize with the helmet. So you're going to place this here. And yeah, see, this adds to his look. This this completes the classic dusty look. Let's see if I can get this on his head. Like, I, okay. Headdress seems a bit big. I will say this, the helmet. Helmet seems a bit big, but uh, I guess this works. It works. I have to play with it a little bit, but uh, I like it. I like it. So this is how the goggles will be placed on the helmet. Now, it you know again I have to kind of play with. It. I want to make sure it's as, as straight as possible, but you know you get the gist of what they're they're shooting for with this helmet and the goggles. So we have this here with Dusty. Might not be the most straight, folks. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hold on, it's kind of bothering me. Let me see if I can get this straight. Um. Is it okay? I got it the right way. All right, so yeah. All right, cool. This is gonna work. We're gonna work it like that. All right, so we got that. He got his backpack. He got his helmet. He got his goggles. He's looking classic. I love it. And up next we have this gun here. So we have his gun. Has a nice little stand here that uh, is articulated as well. I love that. The detail on this gun looks awesome. Uh, no peg for a blast effect, which is interesting. Uh, it has a little scope here on the top. So this looks really cool. So he has his gun. So you're going to place this in his hand. Hopefully his hand is not so tight. Okay, this is cool. Everything is working very smoothly so far. So good. 
Oh, so far so good. All right, so this looks cool, folks. I love it. So he has his gun. He has a little stand here. He has his goggles. He has his helmet. All right, and the Dusty also comes with this magazine for his rifle here. And that's always yet another, you know, super, you know, uh, accessory that they're adding to these G.I. Joe figures is, is the interchangeable items to be able to clip these magazines into the, to the gun here. Uh, let's see how this works because it's got to be somewhere on this rifle that this magazine will clip onto. And I guess it does. Oh, we are here. All right, so you will take this magazine and you clip it to this section of the gun. There you go. So we have his rifle. He got his magazine clipped into the gun. And again, that's just such a fun, you know, accessory to, to add to these G.I. Joe figures is the, the interchangeable items with the guns and, and, and all the various accessories that, that they give you. So, And last but not least, we have one more piece of accessory for Mr. Dusty, and that is his knife. Now, this knife looks awesome. Nice silver color here, you know, black handle that they've given the, the knife, so excellent job with that. So this will go into his little knife sheath here. So you're gonna place that, and I just, I just love working, you know, gun holsters and knife sheaths and all these things. It just makes the figure, just it just adds to you know, the overall aesthetic of these figures, man. And it just makes them just that much more awesome. <laughs> and that's what Dusty is. He's just awesome, man. So he is ready, folks. He is good to go. Dusty is ready to report for duty. You know, he's ready. He's waiting for Footloose to be released so he and Footloose can go on some missions out in the desert or whatnot. But, folks, I love Dusty. I'm really happy to have him as a part of my G.I. Joe Classified Collection. The beat just continues with these G.I. Joe figures. I mean, we're getting some really fun figures from this line. I mean, I just finished reviewing the Outback figure. Definitely check that out. That's uh, If it's not on the channel already, it will be coming. And there's so many other ones that I will be diving into, folks. So uh, stay tuned. But Dusty is here, folks. Really happy about this. And we're going to head on to the next segment, all right? Yo, Joe. And here alongside Dusty, I have some of his G.I. Joe buddies, as well as some recently released G.I. Joe figures in the retro-carded gun ho figure. Then up next, we have Lonzo, Starker, Wilkinson, and then we have my main man, Spirit. And then last but not least, we have Outback. Now, reviews for each and every one of these figures is up on the channel or it will be i know spirit is available as well as the gun hole starker and outback i recently recorded and if it's not up on the channel right now it will be very very soon and here we have dusty alongside more of his joe buddies starting with the ever rhyming heavy artillery toting roadblock and then up next we have the too hot to trot barbecue and then we have the communication specialist, Breaker. And up next, we have the heroic Lady J. And then we have here the silent one, Snake Eyes. And last but not least, we have the highly skilled old redhead, Scarlet. And here we have Dusty with the recently acquired Serpentor. This I command. Review is up on the channel, so be sure to check it out, folks. All right, let's get on to the next. Uh-oh, and here alongside Dusty, I have the infamous Cobra Commander. Could Dusty actually be a traitor to G.I. Joe? All right, folks, that's all I have for this episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really hope you enjoyed this review. I mean, what can I say? I mean, got another excellent G.I. Joe classified figure. I love this Dusty. And, and the beat just continues, folks. And I just, I love it. So again, thank you so much for tuning in. Be sure to comment below. Share your thoughts, folks. Also, be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Also, ring that bell for all notifications as well. And if you did those things, folks, I truly appreciate it. And folks, until next time, be good to one another.
be safe, stay tuned, and always remember that knowing is half the battle. Till next time, folks. Bye for now.